Hello, DC75 here. So I'm back here again, Toys R Us. I couldn't buy these a few days ago because they had an embargo on these on Saturday. Apparently, they couldn't sell these until today. So I already got two that I had held in the back. One's Secret Rare, which I'm a little disappointed in, but hey, you know, I got it. And the other one, I'm sorry, I had to get the Unicorn. That's going to go in my car. I didn't see any other particular minions on the series that I really wanted, but... I saw these right next door. Despicable Me Minis. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to grab at least one, two, three, four of these. And I'm going to do a double opening video plus a little surprise at the end. So let's see what I get with these. And I'm going to show you why I'm a little disappointed in the secret rare for the series. Oops. And I just dropped one. These things are two forty-nine piece, and I'm kind of excited for them, but also not because they're made by Moose, which means they have a limited edition figure that's uh, certainly rare to find. How rare? Well, usually it's like one in a thousand in the world. I mean, it's like a thousand in the world. So I'm just going to grab. Uh, I'll grab two more of these because we just to have fun. There's over 75 to collect. So, let's go ahead and grab these and see how I do. See you in a bit. Hello, DC875 here. So, I'm in the car now, still in front of Toys R Us. And I've already opened up the mystery figure, the secret rare. And it's very disappointing. I'm not, I wasn't even going to, because I already know what it is, because the guy a few days ago was not opened one in front of me. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's kind of lame. He allowed me to buy the one that he opened up, which was cool from the Toys R Us. But, yeah, he was disappointed, too, as a guy I know. He, he kind of looks at me in secret and let me know, why. Like, sometimes when the new figures come out stuff. But, like I said, he allowed me to buy the one that we opened up. And let me show you what this secret rare looks like. That's it, folks. That is literally it. It has a hat that says, I love Gru. You would not have known this was a secret rare. I mean, it has, like, little holes in the hat, but... Nothing else come with them. We searched and made sure. I mean, you got all these other cool-looking minions. I mean, literally, you got Ice Cream Minion, Jail Minion with Banana, Cheese Minion, or two Cheese Minions, and a few more Jail Minions. I mean, look at the creativity of some of these minions, and then you get I Love Gru. This is a secret rare. So, yeah, I might not keep this. I might give this away to somebody. I don't know. If, you, if you'd if be interested in, like, wanting this figure, trade it for something or something, I don't know, let me know. That'd be awesome. Otherwise, of all the secret rares, this is not going into my collection because that's very, very lame. It's like they, they didn't even put any effort to it. I'm very disappointed with this. But, however... Where does she go? Is it in my pocket? No, it's not in my pocket. I am very happy with the other one I got, which I can't see the find. Oh, it fell on the floor. Which I don't know. Oh, if anyone's interested in this one, the code to find it is A twenty one two six E S. So that's the code right there to find the secret rare. And you know it's a secret rare because nothing else on this package looks like him. I guess they're going iron, ironic. Or something like that. Let's go ahead and open this one. This one is A2412-6ES. Hopefully it's a unicorn. And yes, it is a unicorn. I'm going to put this sucker in my car. So he comes off the see. Unicorn's the rare one, or it's ultra rare, I don't remember. It's kind of cool because we don't have that many four-legged Mega Blocks. So I definitely wanted to get this. Yeah, we don't have that many four-legged Mega Blocks out there. Let's see if we can put them together. Two hands.
cool. Sorry about that, folks. And then the tail. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, I like, I kind of like that. It makes sense the legs don't move because, well, it's a stuffed animal in their world. Unless in a new movie they somehow bring this thing alive. I wonder why they waited till just this series to do a unicorn. I kind of wish they brought the dog. In this series, or where the heck that daggone thing is, that um beast that lives in Gru's house with the kids. But it's not bad. It, it sure is a lot more creative than I love Gru. Even he looks like he's disappointing himself. You're a failure. You should feel bad about it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these two. When I get home, I got a huge bag of. How do you say these? Minis. Oh, I get it. Minions. Mini. Ha, 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 ha. There's one per each ball. Like I said, I like Moose. I respect them as a company, but at the same time, their rarity system is a little BS. I mean, they do with every one of their, like, series that they sell. Trash cans. The, um... Wait, which was the, the trash pack, bungees, I think they did them. Um, what's the new thing? Chopkins and Grocery Gang. They do this weird rarity where it's like, oh, get the limited edition figures. Oh, they're limited edition, all right. There's only like 600 in the entire world. Or there's like 82 in the entire world. Good luck finding them. And then you look on eBay, you find out that they people have found them and put them on for, like, ridiculous prices. So, Moose is doing this series, too. Which is good, but at the same time, there are going to be a lot of people trying to find the golden minions. I already know I didn't get one. Because, like I said, if their rarity system is like they've done in the past for other series, those limited edition golden minions, I would be surprised anyone finds one of those anytime soon. All right, I'm going to do these as soon as I get home. This is going to be part of the other video. Plus, a little surprise, just for you spicy blocks, because I know you haven't found one yet, and I have one. It's not sealed, but I want to show you what it looks like. All right, guys, peace out. Hello, DZ75 here. Welcome back. So, been around shopping all day, found a whole bunch of good stuff. I'm going to upload a ton of videos tonight, so I hope you don't mind a lot of stuff showing up in your video feed. Sorry about the camera. That's sort of that. So... Yep, this is a secret rare for series 10. Now, for you spicy blocks, I got something to show you. The little special thing. This, once again, series 10 secret rare. Kind of meh, sort of like Yamcha. Now, series 9. I happened to got the secret to series 9 about two weeks before Easter. But because I was moving to my new apartment, I didn't have no internet until today. So, behold, this is what Series 9 Despicable Me Minions looks like. Excuse me, Lane, but that just looks badass. Look at him. He may still got a friend, but you know what? It's justified. He's a freaking ninja. He's got nunchucks. Got himself a nice little... I mean, that's pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. He's a ninja. And he's got nunchucks. He's like, I don't take crap for nobody. I'm going to beat your ass. Come at me, bro. I don't give a rat's ass. Come at me. Sorry, kids. If you don't like cussing, that's my channel. Freedom of speech. <laughs> so, anyway, without further ado, while I tours us, as you know, I got a few of these. So let's go ahead and open these up. Once again, I said these are from Moose. These are called Minis because of the Minion to Spickle Me 3. So let's go ahead and open this one up first because it's in my hand. And good lord, this thing's kind of hard to open. Wow, okie dokie. Give me one second.
There we go. So, first up, I do like how they like little ornaments. They should have came out on Christmas, but I guess with a new movie coming out, it makes sense. Still, Christmas ornaments. Why not send whatever? So the first one, okay, they come. All right, this already doesn't bode well. This is like those daggone shotguns and trash cans. They come in little bags like this, so you can't tell what's the sound. So let's first look at a little collector's guide. Series one. Oh boy. Yep, yep. This doesn't bode well at all. So we got the family. Miss Minion, Baby Minion, Gru, Lucy, Margo, Angus, Minion Papa, uh, Edith, and Minion Mama. Minions Through Time, Vacation, Minions in Jail, oh, sure there's a lot of them. Minions on Strike, hmm, what am I getting frozen? I can nail. I'm just going to ignore that one. Chinese cheese head. Okay. Boar minion. And the golden minions. An ultra lost unigoat. Okay. So. Red's common. Blue's rare. Green is ultra rare. Purple special edition. Orange is limited edition, and of course yellow is the Ultra Lost, which is something called a Unigoat. So that's something. So it doesn't say really one in 75, well, who knows, might still do it. But as far as I can tell, Moose might not have done what they usually do that I keep saying. So let's go ahead and open up the first bag. The first black bag. So first we get a little stand for the minion. And then we get the minion itself, which is oh okay. This is I think it's Margo. Is this Margo? Yep, this is Margo. Kinda squishy. There we go, Margo. And she is, of course, a common. She's a common. Of course, I guess that makes sense. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Everybody's going to want to collect a family. Who doesn't want to collect a family? Okay. Which next little Dragon Ball Z orb shall I open now? Let's see. Man, these, they, they do not make these things easy to get into. If I had my other knife, with me right now. There we go. Next up. Okay, I see red peering through. It's a Cheese head. Huh. Nothing inside the bag. Cheese head. What is cheese head? Cheese head is a. Uh, another common. I guess it has to. It's going to be something to do with the movie. So already we got two commons, okay? So I'm just going to speed this up a bit and just break right into that. And we got a clear minion. Some kind of weird clear minion thing. You can see right through him. I, mean, I know he's supposed to be like, wow, super, super stretchy. Interesting, like really stretchy. I guess they get, they're still using the plastic from um, the trash cans. Major through time. Okay, so he. Viva Le Minion. He's a rare, a ultra rare actually. 
I do like how you can see right through him, though. That's kind of, he's kind of like a little translucent, and he's very, very stretchy. I don't know if the rest of them are like that. Nope. Not really. He is, though, so that's pretty freaking okay. How about Cheddarhead? Cheesehead. Cheesehead's kind of stretchy, but not as stretchy as the other mini. So, yes, I think I would like to keep him. Okay. Okay, this one's kind of squishy, too. Bio suit. Yeah, the minions are kind of stretchy. Oops, and I just broke his arm off. Huh, oh, well. Let's see. Hope he wasn't a rare. Yep, of course, he's a rare. Oh, well, he was a rare. Eh, a little bit of a glue gun can fix that right on. No chaps, put you over there. And toss your arm out. Excuse me. Well, the arm's pretty bouncy. Okay, next one up. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so this one comes with a stand. Oh, it is groove. My God. Goodness, look how pointy that nose is. It's even more defined, even as a toy. He is not stretchy. He is almost a solid figure. And Gruel Vacation is a common. Of course he is. Love it, little girl. Love it. Whatever you want to call it, girl. So go ahead and stick this up in his bum and put this over here. Alright. Do we have any more? Is that it? Yep. Last one. So, these figures are okay. If you like Shopkins and whatnot. Me personally, I'm going to take these little balls, fill them up with some kind of non polymer jello or something, and probably take my pellet gun and shoot at them later. Who knows? Maybe I can put some treat inside them and get the hamsters and play with them, or maybe the spiny mice. There we go. Last but not least. Uh, it is. Uh huh. A toga minion. He is a. Don't see him. Oh, excuse me, he's an Egyptian minion and he's a rare. There he is right there. Well, for what it's worth, these aren't too bad. They're only like, what, $2.49 a piece? Probably cheaper if you don't get them at Toys R Us, but right now, I've only seen my Toys R Us. Eh, they're older by the, well, actually the Mega Block, excuse me, Mega Construct minions over there by them. So, they're okay. Not gonna say that they're bad or stupid or anything. Hey, they're still better than a mini, certain mini wearing a hat that's claimed to be a secret rare. But hey, that's just my opinion. Well, all right, guys, you have yourselves a good one, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace out.